Archbishop Fulton Sheen used to say, uh, the measure of your love for Christ is your zeal in bringing souls to him. All right? He said, where there is no zeal, there is no love. So as fathers of mercy, we have to have that great desire to preach the gospel and that great zeal. The Fathers of Mercy got their start in France. We were founded by a French diocesan priest named Father Jean-Baptiste Rosan. Father Rosan was noted to be the greatest preacher in all of France. And during the times of the French Revolution and the Enlightenment area, there was tremendous uh, harm done to the faith and to the people of France and to the church as a whole. Cardinal Fesch of Lyon had asked Father Rosan to gather a group of men together to preach missions and retreats to restore the faith, and that's what he did. In 1839, Father Jean-Baptiste Rosan, our founder, sent some of his missionaries to the United States with hopes that they could continue the work of ministering to and saving souls. This was after 1830, when the growing Fathers of Mercy were forced to disband temporarily because of the French government of the July Revolution when it outlawed religious communities. A new revolutionary government rose to power in France, uh, a government that was essentially atheistic and anti-clerical. They had a great hatred, especially for the Catholic faith. They had a great hatred for uh, the clergy, the bishops, and the priests. Uh, so many of the missionaries of France had to leave the country. Many of them came to the United States um, they ministered to the people in the French-speaking areas of the country. Uh, so eventually, uh, the Fathers of Mercy became an all-American order. Now, um, Pope John Paul II used to say that at the heart of every form of consecration is a sense of mission. So what is particular about the Fathers of Mercy is our mission our founding charism. Now, uh, the apostle to the Fathers of Mercy, in a word, is evangelization. Our parish mission today has changed and modified slightly to kind of adjust to the times. Uh, our parish mission today starts as a five-night event. We'll come to a parish for five nights. We will preach all of the masses Saturday and Sunday, and then starting Sunday evening, we will begin with a series of conferences. Normally five nights, we will preach five different uh, topics. All of these, again, keeping that tradition of the same parish mission of re-evangelizing the basics of the faith. Pope St. John Paul II once said that for the periodical renewal of a parish, nothing beats a parish mission. I always say that if a parish mission or a retreat helps just one person, if it strengthens the faith of just one person, if it brings just one soul closer to Christ, if it brings about just one good confession, if it brings just one back to the sacraments, it's a success for the sake of that one soul. That is the infinite value of a single soul in the sight of Almighty God. And I'd have to say uh, that that is what brings me the greatest joy as a priest. We Fathers of Mercy are looking for good, solid Catholic men who are unabashedly in love with our Lord Jesus Christ and His Bride, the Church. Men who want to help transform a veritable culture of death into a culture of life and love by showing and giving it the mercy of God. When we talk about being a Father of Mercy, we also talk about that zeal for souls, specifically in that context of being a traveling mission preacher, a traveling preacher that willingness to live out of a suitcase, that willingness to travel, to strive, to go, to be like the father of the prodigal son who went out looking for his son every night and when he saw him, he ran to him. As fathers of mercy, first of all, we're called to fidelity. Uh, you know, uh, we say that the priest is a man who is configured to Christ by virtue of his reception of the sacrament of holy orders. We're looking for a man who is seeking to be a traveling missionary, a man to travel and preach the mercy of God. We're looking for a man who has great zeal for souls and who is willing to be trained, willing to sacrifice, willing to um, live this life. I myself love being a priest. I love carrying out the church's teachings in such a way that I'm able to give them not only to myself, but to others. And this in a preaching apostolate offered by the Fathers of Mercy, to convey the truth, to convey truth in its purity as revealed by sacred scripture, sacred tradition, and the magisterium. 
to give the beautiful truths of the church, the bride of Jesus Christ to others, is something that is very, very dear to my own heart, precisely as a priest. A man of the Eucharist, that you love the Blessed Virgin Mary, that you pray the rosary, that you want to be a man of prayer, you desire holiness, you desire humility. You are faithful to the Catholic Church, to the Holy Catholic Church, to what has been handed down to us from St. Peter and the Apostles, through the lives of the saints, the Church Fathers, from, from Peter to Francis, we embrace the fullness of the faith. I remember when I was first discerning my vocation to the priesthood and to the Fathers of Mercy, I used to see this little black and white ad in a little Catholic weekly publication that my mom used to get. And the Fathers of Mercy ran this same little ad every week. And I'll never forget what it said. It said, the Fathers of Mercy need men to bring the mercy of God to all. It said, dedicated to the magisterium of the church and devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And I saw that and I said, hmm, wow, <laughs> that's for me. You know, but really that's the essence of what it means to be a Father of Mercy.